Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your September 1st to the 7th, 2024 reading for you. Now, I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my standing in the YouTube algorithm, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you are interested in booking a private reading, then check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's linked in the description box below. And if you don't want to go through my website, there are instructions in the description box as well as pricing to how to book a reading. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound, and this loud sound will come through the singing bowl. And the variant in the singing bowl song really lets me know the energy that we're diving into. So let's take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. We're crowned with the five of wands, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. So that's very much a warning. I just want to start off by saying we have to be very mindful during this time of not getting into fights over nothing. Like this is going to be a fight that starts over the silliest thing. Now it could have been building and building and building, okay, till we reach this crescendo, but just be aware of that during this time. We have the nine of cups, we have the six of pentacles, we have the four of cups, we have the nine of swords. Interesting, interesting. I like how we're bookend by nines. Nine is a very human number. Coming forward, we have the seven of wands. Mm. We have the lovers reverse. I'm not surprised during this week at all. We have the page of wands, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, angels, and spirit guides. We have the ten of pentacles. We have the ten of swords, mm -hmm. angels, and spirit guides. Show me clearly. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, not surprised by any of these cards. Very much the vibe that's coming out of the singing bowl, but also that was coming in the energy as we were laying down the cards of this being a little bit of a tricky week. It's not a bad week at all, but it's a week where we can get really in our own head. We see that here with the Nine of Swords. We get really in our own head and it's just like, that's it. That's it. We're in our own head and we're kind of stuck there. So do be mindful about that. Let me just check to make sure everything is in frame. Perfect, you can see it all. All right, so here's the thing. We're reaching a conclusion of a cycle. We're coming to the end of something really quite big, but we tend to get in our own way. We're going to go hot and then we're going to go cold and then we're going to question and then we're going to feel overwhelmed. And it's kind of like right now, which, okay, this makes, <laughs> this makes sense because it's kind of like we're in the death throes of a Mercury retrograde. We're in the very end of a Mercury retrograde and it's just holding on to us a little bit too intensely and I don't like it, but it's it's just going to be like, okay, I'm going to hold you back and then I'm going to let you break free. And that's going to be a really important thing. And why I say I don't like it because I personally am a Gemini and I'm like, oh, please, come on. We just want calm sailing. We just want things to be pretty and calm and nice. And can't you just leave us alone? <laughs> Energy sphere of the universe. And what the energy sphere of the universe is saying, no, I'm really focused on you right now. And this is a time to grow. And this is a time to become more, which is great on one hand and really annoying on the other. What we're going to also see is this real sense of I'm stepping into my power. I'm celebrating myself. A wish that we have crossed our fingers for is going to come true. And yet we're, and we're going to find balance financially. And yet we're still feeling like, hmm, can I celebrate this? Do I know where I stand? Do I know what I want? Do I know where it is? 
that I want to be. There's almost like the sense of people raising their glasses, but we're looking somewhere else. It's like, yeah, I'm not really into this anymore. So that's going to be very interesting. We get in our own head, we get in our own way. There can be little things that just really annoy us during this time. So it's like, just be mindful about that. It's going to be a real art and patience <laughs> during this time to let things come. It's kind of like the waves hitting the shore and let them wash back out at sea. If we can do that, we can weather this week so well and so beautifully. It's just amazing. And my spirit says weather, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> and my spirit says weather is because we have the lovers reverse. Now we have the repeat of the number six. Six is a nurturing number. So on one hand, we're not nurturing ourselves at all. We're going to push ourselves really hard. On the other hand, especially when it comes to money, when it comes to prosperity or how others view us as prosperous, we'll nurture ourselves, we'll take care of ourselves, we'll get that done. But we can really kind of burn the candle at both ends and be a bit cruel to ourselves in the process. So do be mindful about that. Now let's see, let's see what spirit has to say. If you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, there are three things that you have to do. You have to like, you have to comment with a butterfly, and you have to subscribe. This way, I know you want to be in the running to receive a reading because some people don't, and that's why we comment with a butterfly. And then a winner will be chosen at, at random and announced on Sunday. So good luck to everyone. Now let's see here, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is clarity. And that is also a reason why some things bother us, some people bother us during this time is because we're seeing things a lot clearer. We're not seeing things through the lens of guilt or through the lens of shame or through the lens of, you know, I should as I could as I would as. We're seeing things a bit more clearly for ourselves. And as that clarity comes in, it's like, oh, okay, that's what I need. Like, that's what I want. That's what I'm not putting up with anymore. And we're also going to have a tendency to call out the petty BS. Like, it's like, no, I'm not doing this. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels, and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. So we have inner child with the heart chakra reversed, and we have meditation. Now I'm just going to take a sip of water. Excuse me. <clears throat> the inner child with the heart chakra is reversed, meaning that we need to connect with our inner child, and there's some inner child healing that we need to do. Things from the past are going to come up and remind us that, hey, Gemini, you're not as great as you think you are, or you remember when that person said you were stupid or you couldn't do it or you weren't lovable. Well, they were right. And that is wrong. That is absolutely wrong. So when that worry, when that fear comes in, it's like, nope, not going there. It's like, I see you. I see what you're trying to do to me, head. You're trying to keep me small. You're trying to keep me held back. We're going through a time where we're held back before a profound rebirth of prosperity and mindset. So connecting with our inner child is going to be very important. It's going to elevate us forward. With the crown chakra, crown yourself with meditation, staying calm. That's exactly the energy that spirit showed before when the waves can crash onto the shore and then wash back at sea, staying calm at the things that are hitting us, staying calm at the energy that's around us. That's going to be very powerful meditation, whether it is sitting, you know, crisscross applesauce and meditating, or whether it is, you know, washing the dishes and meditating or going for a walk or whatever it is that you do, exercising, whatever it is that you do to get you out of your own head in your own space, space is going to be very important. Okay. We then have our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. This is the five of cups. We're having a hard time changing our mind and changing our life. It's going to be really easy to look at the things that have failed, look at the things that haven't gone right, and to really berate ourselves for them. So just be mindful about that. You know, again, the should is the could is the would is they come up and it's like, oh my gosh, enough is enough. With the Prince of Wands, reverse. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you have a kiddo in your life or you work with children and you have fire signs, you know, this is back to school time, right? In your class or you have fire signs in your life. Oh, your, your patience is going to be tested. And also you've had too much, like you're already kind of stressed out and overwhelmed. And so this little kid can come along and be like, well, no, I'm not doing this. And no, it's not like that. And you're just going to think, wow, 
seriously, not the time. So just be mindful about this during this time because it's going to make you fiery and, and they're going to just respond with obstinance, which is just going to, to just be like, it's just going to be a bad combination. So be aware of this. We're having a tendency during this time to feel like I always have to be on defense. Like I always have to be ready. And Spirit's like, why? Why can't you be always living your life? Like always connecting with you, always seeing new opportunities and new ways forward and looking at things as challenges instead of endless battles, right? That we will be fighting until the bitter end. So just be mindful about that. We're also going to have a smothering energy around us, which is just like a bit overwhelming and not that cool. It can be being overmothered, you know, where you're like, okay, thank you. Like, I get this. Please move on. It can also be that we overmother others or that we over even mother ourselves, like we're just a little bit too hovering right now. There's an energy around us that's too hovering and spirits like don't think that it also can't be our energy. So we have to step back at times, get out of our own way, see ourselves, you know, say, even if I fail, I still move forward in love. That's going to be a good thing because it's giving us permission to not always have to be perfect. And that little, you know, Miss Perfect energy is going to come over forward or Mr. or however you identify yourself energy. It's going to come forward and be like, you know, oh, I have to take over. And it's just not going to be cool. Ten of Pentacles reversed is looking at everybody else, seeing everybody else as super successful and doubting ourselves. So be mindful about that. And a Ten of Swords reverse is it's overkill. It's seeing everything, but it's all just kind of blown out of proportion. And again, it's the death grip of the Mercury energy, like the Mercury retrograde energy coming forward. And it's like, no, leave me alone. So being aware of that is also going to be a really good thing for us. It's like, nope, I don't want this. I'm not doing this anymore. And once we kind of come out of the battle of this energy, there's a sense of us stepping forward into financial abundance and financial success and us moving forward in a way that is stronger and more centered of self and not feeling so so wounded by energies that disagree with us okay or mindsets that aren't aligned with ours and that's going to be a very important thing our subconscious spirit message is expectation we have huge expectations for ourselves but what if during this week we just say, my expectation is to be peaceful, is to be happy. And that doesn't mean that we let everything fall to the wayside. A real part of our happiness is going to be our productivity, is going to be the way that we see ourselves as outwardly successful. But our expectation also has to be at living in peace and harmony with this earth. And that's going to be really important for us, Gemini, to ground ourselves. It moves us to our chakra energy, which is flexibility, the sacral chakra. That's our creative energy. That's our, our sexual energy. Well, sensual. Sorry for saying that. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get mad. Sensual energy. And so here the flexibility is coming forward, the flexibility of self, the flexibility of what we want and what we desire and how it is that we're moving in this world. Again, being like that wave move with the fluidity of movement, it moves us then to our energy to be mindful of it's the ten of pentacles it's it's feeling like we aren't successful it's feeling the struggle it's feeling overwhelmed it's looking at everybody else and being envious so just be mindful about that during this time gemini we can have the green-eyed monster come out it moves us then to our subconscious tarot message which is the page of cups water sign energy pisces scorpio cancer but it is really letting ourselves move forward in the connection with our heart with what we love, with what's really important to us, and with our our healing. It's like, no, I'm following my heart, I'm embracing what I love, and I'm moving me forward. And that's going to be a really big deal. All right. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all, and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Gemini, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.